Okay, I am going to show how to do like a sweeping, rolling surface. Um, so the way that I like to do it is, um, let's do this a little bit. This is going to just show how you can really control it. I like to use surfaces that won't be used later. They're going to be like uh, really easy to see and edit um, 3D sketches. Do, let's say it's like undulating from over here and then it's going to sweep back. So this is going to surface trim, keep that one. This will be the top edge and this will be the bottom edge. Top sketch. So then this is going to come out here and then we'll have it do this. Surface trim, have it remove that. So now we have these edges. So we could just do a boundary surface from here to here. And that's nice enough, you know, It's but it's straight across. So if we want to have more control, what we can do are three sketches. So you'll notice before you do this, this edge is not broken at all, which is nice. Um, so I don't have to worry about placement in terms of because boundary surfaces can get weird if you have lots of breaks. So you would usually have a guide curve <clears throat> uh, there. But we've got a nice clean edge to work with because I had one sketch, one spline that did all that. So now I'm going to do 3D sketch, spline, and I'm just going to map these in, um, lay them down, and then I'll edit them later. I'm going to do one here. And I'm going to have this like really kind of go crazy. So I'm making sure that they're going where they need to go. Kind of lining them up pretty vertical there, that box that you see. And then this guy. Okay, so I'm going to have it where this is cutting in this way and then this is going to be moving this way, so it's going to kind of flip. So when editing these, I select that, that, and then I look right on because then I don't have to worry about um, anything. So I'm going to move this like, I'll do it like this. We'll have it be kind of dramatic. <clears throat> and then select this guy. I could have selected it from that side, but whatever. So I always, I'm going to have this move down a little bit. Shift it like this. This guy is going to we'll make the shift. It might have a hard time right here. We'll see what happens. So maybe we'll go a little less. This shift, this spot right here, we'll see. So this way. So I'm going to show you why you don't shift it. You don't mess with these like in this space because you think it might be good, but then you look at it and it moved it like forward. It doesn't, you always want to move it. You always want to change these handles um, when you're in the direction. So now, it won't, this, when I move this, it won't screw up um, the view from the front. See? It's still straight. Okay, so that's why you only mess with the handles in a direct view. So now surface, boundary surface, this guy, this guy, and then we can go in here, select one at a time. So now we have a pretty complex surface happening and then you wouldn't use these two. <clears throat> we'll delete those.
you have a pretty nice surface there that's pretty controlled and smooth. So if that were, there's all sorts of things that that could be used for. <laughs> nice sweeps, and then you can have other surfaces that you build off for that, all kinds of things. So pretty nice. <laughs>